Hey everyone, this is the second part of making inferences and the predictions about fiction. And as you remember, those are the learning objectives we saw in part one, but I just want to leave them there in case you need it. So in part two, you're going to have one reading piece with three practice questions. Now the reading piece, I just want to mention real quick, um, is from the book called Cathedral of the Wild, An African Journey Home, written by Boyd Marty. I recently read this book and I really enjoyed this book because I used to study wildlife conservation in college. So I found this book very interesting and I thought I could use some pieces from this book for kind of tease reading practice. So this is where the reading came from. I forgot to mention that in the first part. Okay. All right, now, like usual, you're gonna have about a minute to read the reading piece and then answer the first question. I know for some of you, this might still be kind of hard. Uh, your reading speed is not that fast yet. So if you need more time, just pause the video, finish the question, and then resume the video where I reveal the answer. Okay, let's get started. All right, question one, which of the following is an inference that could be made about the author's uncle? A good chunk of this reading, this writing piece is a description of the uncle, right? As you probably have figured out from this writing piece that the family was going through litigation, right? And then the litigation um, lasted years, right? and, and that just really stressed out the entire family, including the, the author's um, dad and his uncle. Okay, so which one is the correct answer? So I'm gonna go from D backwards to A. D, the uncle was trying to stay close to his brother and nephew during the litigation. Here, just in the second paragraph, you know, they started talking to each other only in short clipped sentences as if saying too much would lead to feeling too much, a space developed between them. So based on this information, you know that because of the litigation and all the pressure, all the stress, the author's dad and uncle were kind of growing apart, right? They stopped talking to each other too much and there was a space developed between them. So D is not the correct answer. C, he sought family support during the litigation. Uh, C is actually similar to D. Again, the, the uncle, was staying further apart from the rest of family. So he did not try to interact with the Sikh family support. D, he had some fights with the, law, with the lawyers at court during the litigation. There is a mentioning of what the uh, uncle would do at court, right? He would lose his temper and you know, he would shout some words at court. And then one of the lawyers would try to get him out of the courtroom because that kind of a behavior was not really tolerated at courtroom, um, but he didn't have any fight with the lawyers. So the lawyers were just trying to contain him, right? Um, because he was showing some unacceptable behavior at the court. So B is not correct. There was no you know, actual fight between him and their lawyers. A, he had a hard time expressing his frustration about the litigation. A is correct. Second question.
All right, question two, which of the following statements can be inferred from this writing piece? So this is something in general, a general inference. A, the litigation, even though seeming endless, was eventually won by the author's family. Now the, the writing piece did not mention the result, the outcome of the litigation. So A is not correct. B, the author decided not to take over the family business to help his dad and uncle due to a lack of confidence. Now it didn't mention here, right? The dad asked him, asked the author to just keep their business going. This is the name of their business. But the author was feeling uh, unsure whether he could do it or not, right? So he said, I didn't know if I had it in me. But the writing piece stopped right there, right? There was no further mentioning of the author's decision. So B is not correct because you, uh, actually you don't know what his decision was, right? Did he decide to help the family with the business or uh, did he decide not to do it? C, the family lost the litigation and went bankruptcy. Uh, that's not correct either, because they talk about there was a possibility, right? They may go bankruptcy because they have to pay for the cost of litigation. Right? But again, we didn't know the outcome. So C is not correct. We don't know if they lost litigation or not. D, the author's dad and uncle used to be close, but their relationship was strained by the litigation. That's the correct answer. So again, uh, it's the information in the second paragraph, right? So a space developed between them. So they used to be close, but now they were no longer close because of all the stress from the litigation. Okay, last question. Which of the following definitions can be inferred for the meaning of a haggard? So dad looked so haggard all the time. What can I do to help you? I asked, just keep trading. So haggard uh, actually means D, looking exhausted and unwell. And you can probably infer the meaning of haggard from the reading, right? First of all, you know, years of litigation piled up like boulders, right? That adds so much stress uh, on everyone. And also there is a little clue here because the author asked, what can, I, what can I do to help you, right? That, and that's because the dad looks so tired and looks so uh, unwell, right? That's why the author asked that question, you know, what, what can I do to uh, make things a little bit easier for you, right? So it's, it doesn't mean ugly, it doesn't mean uh, mad or angry, not poorly dressed, um, correct answer is D. All right, so that's the second part of making inferences and predictions about fiction. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of how to answer these kind of questions. All right, guys, so good job. Again, I will see you next time.